Alright, so a little bit of an ancient one today. We got a compact, uh, well, quote, quote, HP, uh, Presario V2000 uh, T model. Now, they don't state that it's the T model on the unit, they just say V2000, but it's really the V2000 T model. And I'm going to be showing how to replace the keyboard on this certain model. So, um, first things first, I'm going to flip it over and uh, with any kind of old laptop you want to take the battery out so just remove the battery like that there's a little clip here on the side and uh, just remove the battery like so now inside the battery port you'll see one two three four five six screws they're all Phillips heads as well as you got one two screws here three four five and then this one on the corner here so the two corners these two here this one and this one I believe we have to remove so go ahead and remove all those screws like so so and uh, also keep your screws separate from all the other screws um, not to get mixed up or anything so like these little silver screws which are kinda easy to keep track of I'm gonna keep separate from the M2 screws that are on the exterior uh, so <clears throat> they're all the same length um, for inside the battery bay um, but the exterior ones are not the same size and they have a different thread uh, the M2 thread these are M1 so you're gonna have to keep these separate and make sure you don't get them confused which I really don't think that we're gonna have a problem with at all because they're different colors and if you do mix them up then so help me God because I just explained it like three fucking times um, so yeah, you got those screws out. This isn't a screw. I, I was fucking... I was... confused for a second there. Plus I was standing up so I didn't really notice. Um, also kind of helps if you have a magnetic screwdriver uh, to get the screws out of here. Seeing that they're all the way down in here. But uh, I'm just going to leave them in the hole and when I flip it over they're just going to kind of fall on out. Okay, so after you open up the screen, flip this over, and there's a top panel right here. Now this top panel should just pop out. Um, and of course, I didn't bring a flathead screwdriver with me, so this is going to be fun. But this top panel, if you get underneath it where the keyboard is, you'll see that it moves. So I'm going to get a flathead screwdriver here and a safety pry tool. Um, I just have a lot of these laying around. I just like to use them. You don't really need one, but I'm just going to get under here with the flathead and try and pop this up. There we go. Right from the sides, same thing on the left side. Pop it up like so. And then you remove this. So leave that over to the side like so. Now, now we're exposing the keyboard. And the keyboard has one, two, three, and four Phillips head uh, screws in it. So remove these four Phillips head screws. Now remember, like I said before, keep the screws separate so they don't get all messed up. <clears throat> Moving the four screws of the keyboard. Replace with HP spare. Oh, it would be nice if HP sold spares with their equipment because then we wouldn't have to spend a bajillion dollars. Alright, so then just lift the keyboard up and slide it up towards the front. And you will see right here is where the keyboard is connected. The keyboard's connected by two L bracket kind of looking white tabs and what you're going to do is you're going to just simply push them open but very gently this tape right here is here for no reason so I'm just going to get it out of the way I hate when they do this let's just put fucking tape here you see and uh, I'm going to leave it there for no reason so I'm just going to get this tape out of here real quick so we can actually see what the fuck's going on of course it's got to be the stickiest tape known to man
Holy shit. Get off. It's sticky as fuck, but it's so old that it just breaks. Okay, so peel the tape back. And these two brackets, or clips or whatever, you just kind of push them up and open. And the keyboard just comes right on out like that. Jeez, this thing's bent as fuck. Okay, so there's the keyboard. That's the broken one. Now it's time to put the new one in. Alright, so here's the brand new replacement keyboard. Real easy, real simple. Take it out of the bag. Ooh. Look at it, it's beautiful. I like nice new things. So now what you're gonna do is the cables on the back end. Take the cable and fold it to the front till the black side is facing up on the keyboard. Now this is the part that's the only really tricky part about this. And you just take that ribbon cable and slide it on in and let the keyboard kind of like fall down so it just sits like this so you don't have to touch anything but the cable is still inside of the port. Just kind of hold it there with your finger and push the brackets not all the way shut but a little at a time to make sure everything goes in even until they are snug and be very gentle with it. Put that stupid tape back down slide you'll see one two three four little grooves slide those four grooves in and push down on the keyboard and your screw holes will line up now this is where you put the four screws that you just removed from there back in so put those four screws back in and this is where magnetic screwdrivers help like i said before you can hold the keyboard down and grab the screws with your screwdriver at the same time uh... college tools are amazing now I like to like put in the end pieces first, you don't really have to, but I like as little tension as possible when I'm putting a unit back together. So that's why I kind of mix match with screws. There you go, those screws are back. Take the battery, three slots on the back, slide them into place like that first, and then snap the battery back down. And go ahead and flip this on over, and there we are. So that is the compact, so let's turn it on and see if it works. Okay, turning the computer on now. Uh. And... Let's run command prop. Enter and list all the commands. Voila! So, there we go. And if you're wondering why that's a part, I didn't plug the cable in all the way, so that's why it looks like that, and I just had to put it back in the spot. But, that's it. So that's how you replace the keyboard on the HP slash compact, well, compact slash HP, Presario version 2000T model. So, enjoy this video, hope this helps, and rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you feel free to donate, uh, there will be there will be a link at the bottom of this video in the description below for donations, for more materials and proceeds, for more tutorials for you guys. So take it easy, and I will talk to you guys later.